But when you go to your regular evening news or NBC, there's no discussion about it. Nothing. Right on. It's nothing. <laughs> See, so then the news media is supposed to be what? Warning. They're supposed to be warning you. <laughs> and they're not warning you. So now, now let me say this. Uh, Penny, get the one where it says the uh, Messiah, uh, 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 the 26th, uh, was betrayed, but uh, 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 not betrayed, but uh, I think it's the 27 where the, where the Messiah um, uh, 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 had to pay his taxes and you and told him uh, that they go get the fish there somewhere in the 20, 17, 27. Okay, that's 17, 27? Yeah. Okay, you read that. That's Matthew 17, 27. Now here it is. The Messiah had to pay the tax. That was a tax that was taxed here. Now, he wasn't working nowhere, but he was wise enough to tell the, uh, uh, his disciples, listen, go and get a fish. That first fish, he's got a, 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 a it's, 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 it's not there, it's, it's, it's a dragon's uh, coin. Oh, is not, yeah. And pull it out and go pay the taxes. Now, my point is, the point is, you know, the only way that you're going to be able to survive down here, uh, just from a physical standpoint, is to have these uh, silver coins so you can save your savings. Give me that penny. No, I give, oh, hold it, hold it first. Let us listen to this first. And then you can understand and see how the scriptures are fulfill, fulfilling themselves. Well, we're heading for hyperinflation. The hard choices should have been made years ago. The Federal Reserve is borrowing $100 billion every 30 days. You can cut every penny of government spending, except for Social Security and Medicare, and you'd uh, still be in deficit. The end game is everybody has zero pushing to currency. Does it scare you? Do you want to scare the pants off of you? The world is going to go into a hyperinflation depression everywhere. We have to have the deficit under control now if we want to avoid a hyperinflation. It's not going to happen. And there will be a global run to hard assets that has already begun. I'm not saying this to scare you. Quite to the contrary. The government doesn't have the ability to raise taxes to, to pay for its needs, so what it does is it burns money. It gives you inflation, eventually hyperinflation. The U.S. dollar becomes worthless. I don't want you to prepare and spare yourself heartache and save your dinner table. That's the only reason I'm telling you these things, not to keep you awake at night. My contention now is that we're beyond control, we're beyond containment. The world is going to see what they're going to see. People ask me this, well, you know, when is it all going to start? When it, but the question I ask you in return is, what's it going to take for you to notice it's happening? There's nothing they can do to prevent a hyperinflation here and a, an ultimate economic collapse. They know it. You see, there's nothing they can do. Watch out for panic selling of the dollar, because that's going to, uh, going to trigger all sorts of unpleasant realities as people realize that the end is getting near. See, now I said people are going to rely. Now those that have been given eyes to what? See, 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 see and ears to hear. So Messiah said, most people <coughs> will see. Right. It happens right before their eyes and they will go into a state of the night. That's okay. That's okay too. It's when they go down there and have to, uh, they carry this money around and they can't, and all their savings are being wiped out. And they got to stand in the queue down there. Then it dawns on them the importance of having uh, this information to preserve their uh, assets, and like, and like Lindsay said, and their what? Heartaches. I'm gonna play one more. This is the one I wanna play. I'm gonna, uh, that's the, uh, the History of mankind has one nation engaged in such a rapid descent. In 1980, the United States would, why now? Never in the history of mankind has one nation engaged in such a rapid descent. In 1980, the United States was the world's largest creditor nation. Today, it's the largest debtor not only in the world, but in the history of the world. We have witnessed massive corruption across all areas of society, from the Enron scandal to Bernie Madoff to trillions missing from the Pentagon as Donald Rumsfeld publicly admitted on September 10th, 2001. The aim of this microtalk is to help everyone not only recognize how dire the situation has become for America, but also only in the world, but in the history of the world, across all areas of society, from the Enron scandal to Bernie Madoff to trillions missing from the Pentagon as Donald Rumsfeld publicly admitted on September 10th, 2001. How do you 
you lose two trillion dollars? <laughs> <laughs> How do you lose two trillion? Two fifty dollars, I lose twenty dollars going through all my clothes. <laughs> 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 I'm looking at it. Ten dollars for my twenty dollar bill. Now they lose two what? Trillion. They ain't say it. That ain't never been lost. It's been, it's been falling to something that they want to do. Say they never. You can't lose that type of money. They, 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 they try to think, think that we bring them. See, they either bought gold or, or they did some type of military program. Right. Day before 9/11. It was the day before 9/11. Say. Right. 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 The aim of this micro talk is to help everyone not only recognize how dire the situation has become for America, but also to help you understand that there is something you can do today in order to provide some measure of protection for you and your family. So here are the facts. The corruption in our financial markets has been so widespread for so long that it has actually created opportunity for the properly informed. Because the Federal Reserve owns the printing prices which pump out our paper dollars, the controlling class has for years suppressed the free market prices of gold and silver in order to keep their paper dollars unrivaled. Yet, like a canary in a coal mine, the rising prices of gold and silver are signaling that something is wrong. So the bankers have flooded the market with paper representations of gold and silver in a coordinated scheme to keep those prices down, thus keeping that canary alive. The people that were there and you heard it today, there's not that much illegal metal out there. There isn't. But in the terms of the market, and the market means in that term, there is much more metal than that. There's a hundred times what there is. But it's no longer working. The bankers are losing the battle. Precious metals are financial assets in like currency and C bills and C bonds. They trade in the multiples of a hundred times the underlying physical. Investors and hedge fund vigilantes around the world now know about the banker's scheme, and the result is nothing short of revolutionary. People from all walks of life around the world are now buying physical gold and silver and rejecting the paper metal. I own physical silver. I own physical silver. I own physical silver. I own physical silver. Add to that, even a few nation states actively acquiring physical metal, and it all adds up to yet another paper Ponzi scheme collapsing. This one, built of paper metal. What is happening right now is causing this decades-long scheme to unravel. And when it's fully exposed, it will prove to be the biggest financial fraud in world history. So, if you purchased silver a year or two ago and you've doubled your money, do you sell now? If you're a millionaire and don't own any, do you buy? Well, here are the facts. You decide. The industrial demand for silver has been growing year in and year out, draining some 800 million ounces of physical silver from world markets every year, with the worldwide mining production only providing approximately 550 million ounces per year. You can see the problem. The United States government owned 2 billion ounces of silver in 1990. Today, it has zero. There is not enough physical silver to meet industrial demand or investor demand. In fact, to re-channel investor interest in silver away from physical and into yet more paper, J.P. Morgan, the very bank being investigated by the Department of Justice for Fraud, created the SLV ETF, a paper tiger, which according to the esteemed Harvey Morgan and other researchers like this one, who have read the SLV prospectus, the SLV listed on the NYSE has no physical silver behind it. And when the paper Ponzi finally collapses, those holding paper representations of silver through the SLV will find they are listed as unsecured creditors. So what does it all mean? Well, here's the deal. Orwell said, in a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. We are now living in a time of massive deceit. Americans are quickly losing confidence in their financial markets, in their media, and in their government. And the creditor nations to whom we owe trillions are starting to lose confidence in our dollar. So why physical silver? The reasons are obvious. The next steps are yours. Thanks for watching. Why silver? Why now? change and have eyes to see. They didn't say their eyes were open spiritually, but uh, they can see that this system, they see the physical collapse of the system, not understanding biblically what I did today. I tried to show you that it's Babylon. Now, you didn't read me about uh, Babylon, about the ancient Babylon is falling. Mm -hmm. this, this great financial system that has the whole world ensnared is collapsing before our eyes, and the whole world, I didn't say this to the United States, this whole world will collapse 
as people make their runs. I don't care throughout the world. I don't care if they got euros or whatsatsoever. I'm going to play something uh, 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 a few minutes ago on the Lindsay said that the euros will crash. Yeah. That will crash. And see, this is the only thing. So you come back to these silver dimes and old quarters. This is the stuff that's going to have money and able you to wade through this without losing your mind and worried about your supper table. And, and as Lindsay pointed out. This is Revelations 18 and 2. Read. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen. Now, Babylon fallen. the Great, that, this is this great commercial system. That's right. It's a commercial system, people, that has a religious component, it has an educational component, it has an entertainment component, military. a military component. These Medical. are all the components that, right. co that constitute this huge system. Right. See? And they keep it going. See? And when you don't conform to that system like they did uh, Saddam Hussein, his last and fatal mistake was, uh, and they invaded him, he said if he wanted to buy his, he wanted to sell his oil and what? Yeah. 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 That's all right. That's all right. Godfather's right. jumping. Right. <laughs> they said the jackals over there on it. Right. See, and, and they said, we're going to show you, you, you know what it means. So that was supposed to be a demonstration to the world. You mess with the U.S. dollar, and we will what? The only two problems they had was China and Russia. So they right. China and Russia. But any of these little small countries, they've been a total what? To right. China. Right. But the point right. is that Babylon, they still don't understand, they don't understand spiritually. They see physically what happened, but spiritually they don't understand that it's a Babylonian system that is collapsing before their eyes. Right. And see, and then, and then you can prepare physically, that's fine. But we also said that's a spiritual component that you right. have to be sealed with some wisdom of the Holy Spirit in order to understand these plans that are coming. Now, we, we, have, we haven't got that part, but we're not denying that part. Okay, read that, Penny. Okay, it's become the habitation of demons and the hold of every No, they said it's become a habitation of demons. Now, how do we know that that's a fact? Oh, that's for sure. Are you going to look at Goldman Sachs? The Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve. Those are demons. Those are demons. <laughs> see? Guys. See, see? They are part of this process. Those are demons. See? that have actually uh, suppressed the wealth of this country. And, and, and what's so bad about it, even even during the suppression, uh, people have gotten wealth in this system, but they find out that now the system is doing what? Collapsing as a result of not being based on the economic principles of uh, truth and honesty. But it was deceit. Go ahead, baby. And the whole of every foul spirit in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Mm. For the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. See, what it means, fornication, is that they got away from the laws of Yahweh. Right. Of the Lord. Yeah. That he gave Israel. Or he had set up these laws. And said that, that so, so that as they, as they violated the law, it's just like a sign said, uh, 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 flammable. It says flammable. Now that, that's, the, that, that, that you understand it. No you smoking. don't obey it. No smoking. But, but it says no smoking. So you need a gasoline, you strike a match. Yeah. Well, you soon find out. <laughs> you have violated the law. And so what they have done, they have violated the laws of economics. Right. And see, and, 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 and as a result of having paper, then the gold and silver is uh, a result of that. I'm going to play Lindsay. He's going to explain further that how the wealthy people, they understood this. Mm -hmm. See, but the people, but the little people like us, they never told us. They, 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 they didn't even allow it to be taught during the school. Mm -hmm. so, so as a result, you are being impoverished. And so what you're going to do as this thing collapses, you're going to have to work for the wealthy pennies of the dollar. In other words, you, you'll be working five, like you said, you'll be working for uh, five or ten dollars minimum wage. That's if you right. work with the minimum wage, you know you can't feed no family uh, you and your wife. Walmart, Kmart. You, you can't buy five people living with them. Right. If you're working for Walmart, you can live with your mama. That's a good job. You sure can't buy a apartment, McDonald's. you know. Right. You can't buy no car. Can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. That's a new job. So you're a working what? Slave. Right. See? That's the point we're trying to make here, is that he said, the goal, he said, the, the merchants shall live what? And the merchants of the earth have grown rich um, through the del through the abundance of their delicacies. Off of your lady. J.P. Morgan. See, see J.P. Morgan? Walmart, people yeah. in there, they want right. to pay you six, seven dollars now. Hi, this is Walmart. They reach a huge profits. <laughs> yeah. And in and, 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 and some places you work for, they have the audacity not to pay your health insurance. Mm -hmm. They make over a trillion a year. Uh, you know, so people make it billions and billions of dollars. See, so why don't you give these people at least a livable wage? But that's not what. It's not in them, folks. But they can do it. 
They can do it if they want to. They don't want to pay the military insurance either. That's right. They don't want to pay the military. Listen, you get hurt if you go overseas and fight for our army and come back with, with, the, uh, uh, with the stress syndrome. They don't, they, don't even want to, they, don't, they don't want to pay your benefits. And steal your life insurance. Uh, it's yeah. It is crazy. That, that's why the people have to wake up and return to the truth. So the, the Messiah said, you should know the truth, and the truth shall make you what? Free. Free. See, all they do is start drawing their money out of the bank, collapse it. We ain't use the bank. See, and you already seen that people have already set their own what? Currency. So people are coming out of Babylon. You know how you get a, a you know how you get rooms out of a house? Just burn it down. <laughs> Amen. You got every farmer in a house that would leave. That's what happened. He's burning the house down. He's putting heat on the little people to wake up. Wake up. You being what? Deceived and bamboozled by these people. See what I'm saying? And that's what's transpiring here in this, in, in this system that we have by not having gold and silver. Because see, if you have that, see, gold and silver is how to trade. How you gonna tax it? I don't have it in the bank, I got it in my backyard. I can't get those taxes off of that. See, and, and they know that. And let me say this, come January, no, January 1st, 2012, with that health bill, they, they have that 1099. Mm -hmm. And 1099 is a tax bill that when you go out to the uh, 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 store, down to the uh, um, coin store, and you walk in and say, I want to pay $10,000 with a silver stuff. All right, fill out this 1099. That's right. Mm -hmm. That goes to the IRS. And the IRS so you bought $10,000 with a silver. That's good. Part of that is mine, too. 30% tax. No. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. so we need to buy it before. Oh, so they do that you can see. So next, this is the last year. But, 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 but I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. They think they're going to be able to tax this stuff, but what's going to happen? First of all, you got to find it. You got to find it. And second of all, there will be an underground market. People will right. not be going to, 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 to the coin store to exchange their what? Their silver. Let's say silver is $500 an ounce. Let's uh, say it's $800. You walk into the store. The guy, I mean, a coin show, you got to fill out a 1099. When you go to somebody in the street, you may need some paper money to pay some taxes. Or you may be able to buy a car. You, see, you want to be able to buy a house. Just to be, to be, to be, to be that type of what? That's bothering me. You got to die. Okay, I need the, you to fix my car. This, this quarter is worth uh, $100. Like so, uh, okay, I'll, I'll fix your car for that, for that, for that silver. That, that's, a, that's a type of transaction that you'll make that the government can't want. Do nothing about it. Can't get nothing about it. People are not going to take this type of what's called. It's a black like market that we told you that would kick in as this thing is unfolded. See, now, uh, I, I want to uh, play this for you. Uh, uh, what Lazy said here. Have you been to gold dust lately? Uh, I heard it. I, I heard that. No, I haven't done that lately. I'm going to fill out a little form. Mm -hmm. For how much? You got to fill out a form now? Yeah, they, 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 I, I, uh, they, if you want to buy or sell something, and the little form is very brief, they want your name and they want your address, and Who's I refuse. Gold and, dust, coin store. And, uh, and, and uh, the owner looked over at me. The guy that usually gives you a lot of attitude, he's gone now. The owner now has his son. Right, working there, right. Mm -hmm. So what did Mark say? I, I told him, uh, I ain't feeling like nothing. He told his son, go ahead and do better than that. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I'm a little The one up north that they still, uh, they just handed it to you. They still, so far. The guy says he's going to start in 2012. Plus, you can only get $600 worth. Mm -hmm. right. Is it for us over a certain amount? Uh, Okay, so what he's talking about is that the form is a 10. Anybody know what a 1099 is? A 1099 is a self employed form. What it means that, matter of fact, you have to already fill one out this year, am I right? You got real estate? Yeah, for. If you know anybody or if you do property management on your own property, you have to start 1099s this year for property owners, property owners. So if you're collecting rent from somebody, you got so you get uh, so you get fifty thousand dollars in, in, in revenue, yeah. and, and, and you got a guy who does your handiwork, yeah. and you pay him, and you've been paying him say uh, uh, let's say five hundred dollars cash, mm -hmm. well that's six to six thousand dollars. When you told him here, here's a 1099, and I paid you six thousand dollars, so I, I I can deduct it from my my uh, from my from my income. But then on the other end, you better make sure you do what? Decline it. Because they're going to look it up and say, wait a minute, what about this $6,000 that 
that uh, uh, that you can work with as a handyman, and you feel like they're staying 99. Well, you don't. You owe you owe us 20 percent, coming to 1,200. So you can see that they're, they're tightening up. And remember, again, you have to understand the piece. It says when when, when the Messiah was born, Augustus Caesar did what to the whole world? <laughs> tax the whole world. And he taxed the whole world. So so we told you that these these taxes don't get crazy. But you have a black market that's going to be real. You think the dope market is right? <laughs> so this, this, this is like the, the dope. The dope market is small because everybody going to be uh, uh, under uh, 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 going underground, yeah. and, as they did in the communist countries. I think, I think it was last year, year before last, the IRS had seventy two hundred more IRS agents. No, sixteen thousand. Okay, sixteen thousand because when Obama said that Americans need to start businesses, that was a red flag right there. Right. Because they go audit you. All right, everything, exactly. You're watching foreign bank accounts, too. Yeah. Foreign real estate. If you open up a bank account overseas, this is what I, what I read, um, they, they, let's say you open up a city account overseas, etc. they will hold 30% of whatever money is in that account in the mm -hmm. IRS. Mm -hmm. What? If you're illegal, they don't hold it. Did you hear that? Was, that was so that, a, that, 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 a house bill that was introduced in House Bill 2646 that all transactions, that the government would take 1% of all transactions. Yeah. <laughs> These are the dire consequences of the debt that they're in. But uh, uh, like he said, is that the power of the U.S., they're telling foreign banks that if an American has an account there, and he's not declared, he, he, they have to declare, he's, they, they have to take 30 what? 30 percent. 30 percent. That's what they make the bank to withhold it. They make the bank to hold lease mm -hmm. the currencies. And, and, and that's what you got to understand. It's like I've been saying now, but the way that is, I was told uh, many, many years ago, uh, four or five years ago by a lot of civil people, they said, well, listen, all the people that's got this silver and this and that, they said the government's going to tax them. They ain't going to matter because there's going to be an underground market. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. somebody coming to work for you, you pay them the silver. Mm -hmm. so you pay them four quarters to do this. See what I'm saying? Well, he ain't going to never tell the government about nothing. <laughs> so, so then he goes and pays his debts in what? Silver. Silver. So you get this huge circulation of currency that's outside the what? The Federal Reserve what? Dollar. This Federal Reserve dollar that, uh, that was set up. Uh, now, uh, this is Lindsay. Uh, we're going to pay part two of this. I haven't got that. Uh, now, Lindsay Williams was an, uh, um, a Baptist minister, for those of you who know. He went up to Alaska and he worked with the, uh, uh, the, the, the Trans Alaska Pipeline. And he uh, became uh, very intimate with, with the, the executives there and, and the leaders, you know, the people that. Uh, Ran, uh, I think, Texaco, mm -hmm. the, the chairman of the presidents, and they would begin to tell him stuff about the inside, how they would, you know, from they would do their deceit. Mm -hmm. They would tell him one thing, and the next thing you know, he would see the next day. It's like they asked Bush, one of the news people who asked Bush, you watch the news? I don't watch the news. She was shocked. She said, you don't watch the news? He said, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> now, how do you know what's going to happen if you're not, you're part of the ones that make the news? <laughs> City. So they know what's happening, whether it be 9 11 or whatever. We're going to invade this country. We know that in advance. And we know how to play it on the, on the masses and wave the patriotic flag. Now, listen to what, uh, here is Lindsay. And we'll, we'll, uh, this would have been unthinkable 10 years ago, but today it's a reality. Now, play it on, Lindsay. And then, did, I mean, did you record? Now, this is Alex Jones, and he's, and he's talking about how uh, Lindsay Williams could work with the uh, elitist. Now he's recording conversation, and they told him what would happen in these last days. Now, two years ago, he told him, uh, these executives told him it would take oil to two hundred dollars a barrel. It went to one forty-seven. Mm -hmm. Then they came back and told him about it. Six months later, it would go to fifty. He said, "No, it's impossible." He said, "Let's watch and see." It went from one forty-seven to thirty-six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see then the power that the money changes have. These guys, do you have their authorization, or do they tell you go out and find this press release? That's where it's been admitted in plain view. I know that's one of their favorite little tricks. It's like one of their rules. Uh, this is all breaking. I, I, I just uh, knew that Mr. Fromm was about to die of cancer, and then he, and then we called, and he has died. And they have had the funeral. So Lindsay's giving it all to us right now. Very powerful. Lindsay Williams, the biggest data dump we've ever gotten from him, and just thank God for him. Uh, Pastor 
Mr. Williams again, 20 plus years ago, wrote a book, The Energy Non-Crisis, laying out how there were more oil reserves that have been discovered in Alaska, much of it sweet crude, than all of Saudi Arabia, but we're not allowed to have it. They could have dozens of pipelines coming down. Our gas would be incredibly cheap, but it's a rigged system. And that has now all come out mainstream news, making, you know, really his original stuff passe. But people couldn't believe it 25 years ago. Uh, now, uh, uh, Mr. Fromm, I knew that uh, Dr. Monteith loves to dig around, and he, he figured out who he was, called him. Uh, he figured out who the other guy was. I would figured it out. It was all hidden in plain view. Uh, and so I knew Williams was telling the truth. And people hear it, and they're like, this can't be true that, you know, that the elite are actually talking to each other and know what's coming, know what's going to happen. Folks, I don't know any billionaires. I, I've, I've met a few. And, and, and a billionaire I ran into through a, a, another a person I know, and then afterwards, after I met with her, I looked her up online and found that it was, I was just blown away. This is one of the richest women in the United States. She shouldn't let her now. And she said, this was, this was about three years ago, three and a half years ago, and she said in three years, so I guess she's a little behind on the time, there won't be a United States. And I said, what does that mean? She just said, I'm getting out of here. And she said, you'll see. Then I'm out in the hill country at an event with some people that my kids are friends with. And there's John Wayne's, uh, you, know, you know, one of his kids living out there. And they're like, I, you know, I went and looked him up later and it is one of John Wayne's kids. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the country. You know, because of all these new rules. I mean, they all know, folks. They all know what's going on. Every time I run into some elitist or wealthy person, they're like either laughing at everybody or like abandoned ship because they have... Well, let's go to Lindsey Williams. Lindsey, in the interest of time, because, I mean, uh, we're running out here and, and there's so much to tell. Let's go through through it piece by piece. Your other Mr. X, not Ken Frum, but the other Mr. X, who was even more high level than him, he told you specifically what about the euro collapse. Did he give you time frames and then he got cut off by the break? You said you'll only have two or three weeks to get out. What does that mean? Quantify that question. Okay. The, again, let me say that only by the providence of God could I have never known any of these things. Uh, don't give Lindsay Williams credit for this. All right. He said to me the other day, he said, Lindsay, I want to show you how to listen to some buzzwords. And I'm going to give them to you right now. Alex wants me to give them quick. I'll try my best to do it. Uh, I want to train you, I want to teach you right now how to listen to the buzzwords of the elite. Uh, he gave me a few of them, and he said, you listen to these and then figure it out for yourself. Here's one right here. You probably saw it in the national media. He told me to listen to it. The International Monetary Fund, it was only a few days ago that they said, now, now pick out the buzzwords and then I'll give them to you and explain them. He said, 15 major developing country governments, including the U.S., Japan, and the U.K., Spain, and Greece, must raise 10.2 trillion, and that's correct, you did not hear me say million or billion, said they must raise 10.2 trillion dollars to repay nothing but the interest, interest only, on the indebtedness of these countries. And then he said to me, he said, can they do that? And I said, no. I said, it's a total impossibility. He said, now, listen to the rest of this. He said, this $10.2 trillion that they must raise in order to pay the interest just on the debt alone is 27% of their combined annual economic output. He said, Chaplin, you cannot repay that. He said, all right. Now, he's training me to listen. And I did this years ago. I trained myself to listen to that buzzword, but he's kind of helping me understand their very latest buzzwords, and I'm trying to help you understand them. Okay, now he said, if this can't be done, then what are they going to do about that debt? I said, they can't pay it. He said, that's right. He said, then what happens to the currency of the, Uni of the United States and Japan and the UK and Spain and Greece? I said, it, it's got to collapse. He said, do you, now you're getting the message. He said, we told you all the time what was going to happen. But he said, the average American he hasn't got sense enough to understand what we're trying to say. Let me give you some more buzzwords. Take the comic story. So he said, we, 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 we who? We the Illuminati. We tell you all the time what we going to do. We tell you the movies. Yep. We tell you all the time. You sit down. They go right past your head. Like they tell you about goldfish. 
Mm -hmm. And they did all these things. They told you about the matrix. Mm -hmm. See? <coughs> how the uh, 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 how everything would be uh, everybody would be tuned in and, and only the people would be able to come out of the matrix. Uh, they would have to have a certain type of information. If they did they take the red pill or what? Okay, you, 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 you either you stay in or you come out. And to come out of the system is, is very traumatizing. To come out and, 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 and realize that everything you've been taught in school has basically almost been a what? A lie. Come out and say, damn, this is just a lie. They never told us about the Federal Reserve System. Right? That, and they create money and they had no money to buy it. You see? And in fact, from 1913 down to now, the dollar has lost 95% of its value. Right, right. So when my, our parents and our grandparents, when they grew up, and my father used to say, my grandmother worked for these white people, and she would have made a quarter a week. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even understand that. It would be nice. Mm -hmm. But I understand a loaf of bread was a nickel. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See? Value. This was the value there. You get a car for a couple, four or five hundred dollars, a team on Ford. Yeah. So you can see then, even though it was little money, the cost of living was so low. Mm -hmm. So that's the problem that people understand. They said, no, this thing is totally collapsed. And this is what drives the wages up, the union wages, everything is thrown out at the medical cost that people don't want to understand. So why are we have such the cause of the basic Federal Reserve dollar has actually been eroded and everybody is trying to maintain their what? Purchasing power. Okay, so that's what he means by we. They, they, they tell you all the stuff in the movies about what they're going to do and da-da-da. In fact, there was a, 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 a movie, there was that movie about that 9-11, uh, uh, that, that, that uh, series. Uh, the one that flew their plane into the building. Oh, the, um, it was the, uh, those, those three nerds, um, that, it, it was a spinoff from, um, um, Mulder and, and his, it was a spin off from X Files. They talked about this plane. The Lone Gunman. The Lone Gunman. That was a series, and they told you about this plane was flying in the building. Before that, Before that I said, Pitch, this must be a mess. We better watch this. Yeah. And, you know, so they're always putting this stuff in the movies, but nobody, no, nobody understands it. That's how I said, We told you these things was going to happen. And just like they told you about New York Mad Max, they told, you, they told us that chaos was coming. Oh, we didn't believe.